Hello guys, I'm excited to share with you this automation tool, which is an alternative of make.com. Very easy to use and especially for the beginners and it's affordable. So here, as you can see, you will have free 1000 tasks per month, which is similar to make.com. But what I like about this, it's flexible because you only need to pay $1 if you need an extra 1000, another 1000 operation. And like make.com, you will have to, uh, you know, uh, pay, I, I think $15 or $12 a month to uh, get 10,000 operations per month. And if you don't need 10,000 operations per month, so you don't have a choice. And this one is really flexible. The only downside here is it doesn't have a, you know, thousand module just like make.com, but it's okay. We can, uh, you know, do some work around, which I'm going to show you. So it, so in this one, I'm going to show you a simple automation to create multiple back posts in your WordPress. Okay. So here is the interface of the active pieces. So here it's called flows, flows, uh, you know, in make.com, it's scenarios. So here in flow, flows, what we need to do is build a new flow from scratch. So you take that and take this start from scratch. I'm going to make more, uh, you know, tricks using active pieces automation. So if you guys interested on that, uh, please uh, subscribe and, you know, turn on the notification. So you will get notified every time I upload uh, new exciting videos like this. So now let's first start with a trigger. Okay. So here in trigger, uh, what we need to do, for example, I'm going to create blood post, add new blood post for my WordPress, which is all about manifestation. So here I ask Claude to give me some unfamiliar manifestation keywords that I can use to create new topics. So here you go. These are the new manifestation keywords that we will be adding in our uh, WordPress. So here, for example, I will be using this one. So first I need to check whether this has search volume. Otherwise, uh, there's it doesn't make sense if you create uh, this keyword if it doesn't have search volume. So as you can see right here, there are, you know, already questions that we can use with this C keyword right here. So how to make uh, Sionix and Magic different. So we can put that in here. I created this template right here, which we are going to use in this automation here. Okay. So this is the template. We have two columns, keywords and status, which I always use even in make.com. So we will uh, put that and here we put pending. So this template, this is the single source where we will need to put all our keywords to be added in our WordPress. So if you have thousand keywords, you can put them right here. Okay. So let's try there more keywords. For example, this one, how to research Econic uh, Sionix Stellaris. So we can add those, we can add that and let's gather some more. So for example, this Noetic Science, well, I'm going to start with this three keywords right here. So, but this is how you will do it. So you add uh, your hundred keywords, thousand keywords right here. So you can start your automation. So make the status pending because we will mark this done when this one gets generated. So going back to active pieces, the first trigger we will pull, you select this and here you just need to search for schedule. It's like that. So you, you will see the schedule. So this is how to tell active pieces how frequent you want to run this automation. So for example, you want a new blog post every uh, one hour or once a day. So for example, that's, uh, I want to have blog post every hour. So you select just like that. Okay. That's it. Okay. Now the second workflow for Google sheet, just like that and click that. And here you will choose action. So choose this fine gross. Okay. And here, choose the connection of your Google sheet. If this is your first time, you just need to connect that to your Google account using this new connection. But in my case, I already connected that. So I'll be selecting this Google sheets and here the spreadsheet will be this KW right here. Okay. And then the sheet name will be the keywords right here. And now this is where I need to find the column. So my, uh, the criteria that I will be getting will be the status, which is uh, pending. Okay. So. That is uh, the status that the keyword should be. Now here, you need to uh, get only one row at a time. So every hour we will fetch one row and, you know, generate article from this keyword right here. All right. Now you can test this step to see whether you are getting the keyword. So as you can see right here, it, it fetched the first keyword, which is how to make Sionix and Magic different. Okay. Just like that. Okay. Now the third step will be, of course, we need to generate articles. So here we will be, uh, taking this plus button. And for this example, I'm going to use the service of article AI generator. So here we will be selecting HTTP. Okay. And click this. So this one is very simple. I find it easier to set up the HTTP posts uh, using active pieces compared to make that common. So watch this guys. So the action will be uh, this one, send HTTP requests. And then the method will be of course, post. So I'm going to 
uh, go to the documentation part of Article AI Generator. So go to App Secret Key right there. And here, here you just need to follow this one. So first is username. So as you can see, leave the header blank. You go straight to this query params, okay? So username will be my username in uh, Article AI Generator. And of course, the secret key right here. You add item, secret key, and then copy your secret key. And then again, add item. And this one is the keyword, which we will map from here in the five rows. So we will map that very simple. So click this five rows. You will see this uh, drop down option. And of course the values, you select the this one right here. Okay, this is where we are touching the keyword column A. So we select that. So this will be dynamic. Every time this runs, it will select this column A, just like that, okay? So here, if you want an image, so you just copy the parameter right here, which is, which is this, this one, generate image. We copy that and paste just like that. And we say yes, okay? So just to make this automation faster, so the length of article will be just short, okay? So we will see the result right away, okay? Uh, this is very simple and easy, guys, because you don't need a lot of steps right here compared to doing make that come. Uh, that's what I noticed about this one. So of course, don't forget the URL right here, which is this one. That's a required field, okay? Just like that. And you can click this test step to generate your first article, but we don't want to do that right now. And here, what I'm gonna do, this is very important step, so you need to follow these guys. We need to post that to our WordPress. There's a little bit of setup that we need to do on our WordPress, but it's very simple. So typing WordPress, just like that. And here, you can click this create post. Now in this create post right here, you will need to add a new connection to your WordPress, which is very easy. So as you see this one, I added a new connection. I added this connection, but in this case, I want to add our new WordPress connection, okay? So we click this one. And here you can name this. So just name your WordPress site just like that. And you add here your username and password. For example, you have an editor role. So you do that in order for you to access your WordPress connection. But first you need to download this plugin right here. Okay, once you downloaded this, you click that and you will land in this uh, GitHub page. So you just need to click this code and just click this download zip. Okay, once you downloaded that, go to your WordPress. Uh, you know, in Article AI Generator, we are installing the WP REST API. Make sure you disable that, okay? Now here in the plugins, click add new plugin right here and click this upload plugin. So this one right here, basic authenticator master. So you install that. and hit this activate plugin. Click this activate plugin. Okay, you so you will see right here, this one, JSON basic authentication. That's the only plugin required. You don't need to do any configuration. You just need to install this and it will actually work directly if you are, you know, generating articles from the article AI generator. That plugin will also work. So you don't need that uh, separate plugin WP REST API. So if you have this, JSON basic authentication, the uh, generate bug articles here will also work without any other plugin, okay? So make sure this WordPress REST API, you can remove that, you can delete that, uh, that it's not active, okay? Now, that's this setup you only need. Now, the next thing you need to do is, of course, uh, add your credentials here. So here, you just need to add your WordPress URL and then the editor uh, username and password, and then you just click on save simple as that you created your connection right here so as you can see got selected right there now to be able to map the title let's run the uh this one the send http request to create the article so we will know the values that we will be adding here okay so let's run this step right here click this test step and if you see right here the sample data has been successfully created and you see right here this is the title of our first keyword that we gathered from here okay now what we need to do is we can now easily map because we have this data the title content image url and image file name now we can easily create our post now click this again to create post and here we can easily map that okay so come back here this is the title so click this send http request which is this function right here this module and we go to body and we just simply select title just like that content Again, same thing, go to body and then click this content right here. Now scroll down, okay? The featured media URL, now it's really simple to do because in make.com you need to create a, a separate module to upload a media, but here you can just simply uh, map this image URL directly from article AI generator service. So you click that, 
and before you uh, publish this make sure you complete the required fields so here make sure this one and the content the title the image url and then what's missing here is the status so if you want to publish it right away or you put it as trap so let's publish that and that's it that's all you need okay now you can take this test step in order to create the blog post okay but we will be creating the last step to modify this step to this status to done that means we successfully generated this first keyword right here so we take the last step which is again calling a google uh, sheet right here so we select that and the action will be update row okay this one right here update row and the connection of course your google connection just like that and here the same spreadsheet and here the same uh sheet name and then the row number you can get the value from this one the second find rows here the second uh, module right here you can click that and here row number two so this will be dynamic every time you run the automation so select that and here enable this one because we have the column name right here so enable this now what we need to have the value that we need to update is this one the status so set that to done okay and that's it our uh, you know our workflow is complete with that simple easy step just like that okay now if we run this so let's now click this test flow it should now create our first keyword right here directly to our wordpress right here and it should have the featured image as well so let's click this test flow now as you can see it's all uh green so that means they all succeeded so let's check first the uh google sheet so it's marked as done that means this has successfully been generated and the moment of truth let's go to our wordpress click this post we should have our new post there you go how to make uh Sionics and magic different so this post should have also featured image wow just like that it has featured image as well and this is the seo friendly article generated from article ai generator just like that you have a decent number of words even if it's a short article it is almost 2000 words okay and different format so that it's readable to your um, visitors look at that seo friendly article and here you go you just need this simple template and you just populate all your keywords right here you put your thousand keywords or whatever number of keywords you have and this one you set that to every hour or once a day it's up to you you can you can change that to whatever frequency you need okay every day every week uh whichever uh you know day or frequency you want a new post in your blog okay so once you're satisfied with this automation that you created you just click on publish okay now uh, once i publish this this will run every hour until i consume all of my keywords in this template okay so if you want more automation like this using active pieces so make sure you leave a comment down below and don't forget to leave a like in this video so hopefully this is helpful for you guys and that's all for now thank you for watching